We're just in the car leaving Ragusa now. Now we're on our way to lunch in Marzamini. Oh. We've just arrived in Noto and I feel like every single little town we've gone to the buildings just get prettier and prettier. The buildings here in Sicily are on a whole nother level. Sure, I got a lot to learn about love. Hey, summer's waiting for us, you know, the everlasting one. No matter if your heart is cold, I got plenty of time and heat for you. Just got my Instagram husband to take a picture of me in front of that big cathedral there. He's not really my husband. Instagram boyfriend. He's getting a lot better now at taking Instagram pictures. We only have to take a couple and then we're all good. Whereas it used to be um, ending in arguments sometimes. But he's getting a lot better. Here I go. We're going to do a piece for some time. Still want to do it? I just had a bite of the arancini and it wasn't that good. He actually put it in a microwave to heat it back up. So the one at the Italian markets in Manchester tasted way nicer. They were fresh, yeah. All the beer that we've tried in Sicily has been really nice. which is a typical Sicilian dish, more on the Catania side. It typically has like this weird sort of funny looking pasta with uh, aubergine or eggplant with ricotta cheese and tomato. And I've never tried it before, but it sounds really nice because I really like aubergine. Mm, that's really creamy and buttery. Oh my god, that tastes amazing. <laughs> the aubergine is really, really nice. Nice and soft. The on top is like really, really salty. And it goes well with this like real buttery sauce. Is it pork? Uh, ravioli. What's inside? The pasta. Wanna try some? Yeah, it smells like chocolate. We've just stumbled on this like street market here street after market. dinner. Huh? Oh, sweets. Lots of different stuff here. Oh, that's what I want. Oh, I want that. Where do I get that? It seems as though everyone's congregated at another church. 
after the parade. We'll have a big trampoline. Ooh. Did you enjoy your pasta, Joe? Yeah, it was nice. I liked my pasta as well. So different. The ricotta on top of mine was like salty, so it went with the nice sweetness of the tomato and the eggplant, so that was nice. It tasted like my ravioli that I did from the ones we buy from Tesco's <laughs> and doing tomato sauce. Does it now? Yeah. Should see what's over So we're just leaving Noto now and making our way to Fontan Bianchi, which is a beach in East Sicily. It looks like it's a really nice beach, so hopefully it's not super, super busy there just yet. It is a Monday, um, and it is a little bit overcast, so hopefully it's not going to be horrible and rainy. We've just picked up some supplies from Lidl as well to make some sandwiches and stuff like that to save some money. And also we haven't had breakfast yet, and it's like 10 o'clock, 10.30 actually. But something I did want to mention was that um, what I've noticed is when we've been driving around in the countryside of Sicily, is that there are are a lot of old ruins from old farmhouses and houses and stuff which is fair enough because it is a really old country but the other really weird thing is that there's lots of unfinished houses and f like frames of houses and buildings so I don't really know what's happening there with them because there's a lot of them and you can tell that they're unfinished because there's lots of veggies straight through there's lots of vegetation and stuff like that growing around them and then they're kind of falling apart almost but they still look kind of new so if any, no, anyone knows why there's lots of that in the countryside of Sicily put it in the comments below there's also lots of rubbish on the verges here as well which is a bit disappointing because in the cities it's really clean Summer's waiting for us, you know, the everlasting one No matter if your heart is cold, I got plenty of time and heat for you Beach hub, no one around really. And this is the pretty view. We've made it to the beach and it's a really nice beach. The sand's a little bit brownish, but it's not dirty, it's very clean, it's just brown sand. Light brown sand, just not white. The water looks very clear and calm. We're on a private beach, which it is 15 euros for two beds and an umbrella, which is actually not that bad because in Monte Rosso in Cinque Terre in Italy, it was 25 euros. This is for the whole day. Um, but I think it's worth it because then you get to like sit on nice lounges and you get the umbrella if it gets too hot. And then also you can go up to the bar and get drinks and you've got a little table and stuff. And you can hang your bags up here, which I think it keeps them obviously clean and then also it's a lot safer because they're sort of hidden away up there. So we're just going to chill out here for the day. Did it say it was going to rain at 2 o'clock? So hopefully it doesn't rain. It's kind of, um, it's not that hot. It's a little bit breezy, but it's, it's nice and warm, but it's not super, super hot. Cause it's a little bit overcast, which is fine. And I'm just reading my book, I'm nearly finished. This one here, it's, it's all right. It's nothing that exciting though. I was expecting a lot more. Let me know if you've read it before and you really like it. But yeah, we're just gonna chill out here for the rest of the day and I'll update you when we've moved on, I guess. So we've just arrived at our accommodation in Sierra Cruz. This is the end of the Noto and Fontaine Bianchi beach vlog. And I'll just quickly mention that we actually stayed on a beach called Lido Sayonara. So there's parking behind um, the sort of beach club where we stayed on Fontaine Bianchi. Um, it has like its own parking, the beach club. So I definitely recommend going to that one because um, all the other beach clubs I think didn't really have their own parking. So just be a bit more awkward. Whereas this one was free parking and it was right next to the beach club. So I'm gonna end this vlog here and I'm gonna start a whole new vlog for Syracuse. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.